Hey guys, and welcome back to my world. Today I'm looking at uh, the mechanism I used for my vanilla Quakecraft game, and um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make uh, snowballs lethal, but not only make them lethal, but actually add scores to a scoreboard for a the person who actually killed them. So if I just reset this, so if I see this little creeper over here, come on, if I kill this creeper, first of all you'll see that it says uh, creeper was killed by Dragnos, and I have a score of 1 added to my scoreboard. Now where is that Enderman? Has the Enderman kind of died? Yeah, he's died. So if I then hit this cow, uh, come on cow, Okay, cow was killed by Dragnos, and you'll see that I now have a score of two. So if I just hit, um, get this Enderman, come on Enderman, come on Enderman, whoa, okay, you're getting, whoa, in my, in the house, there we go. Um, the Enderman was killed by Dragnos, and you'll see I have a score of three, so I killed three entities. Now, um, I'm only doing one player in this world, but in, uh, I'll, after this, I'll quickly show you what it's like and how what the command blocks is like in a eight-player multiplayer environment. Okay, so there's a couple of things I need to kind of first of all show you guys. First thing is every snowball in the world gets a life life timer score. So if I go scoreboard uh, objectives set display sidebar um, life timer. So every time I th let me just really clear the scoreboard. Uh, players reset star uh, life timer okay so every time a th snowball is thrown you'll see that it actually has a lifetime score on the sidebar and sidebar and that'll continue t ticking up until the snowball either disappears into the void or it smashes against something so if I You'll see, like, when it smashes against something, it disappears as well. Okay, the same goes for eggs uh, and for... Well, I've, I've actually disabled them. And the little end bit on a fishing rod. Okay, so that's important. So the life timer is really just a dummy objective. So I've, over here, I've got scoreboard players add at any entity that's a snowball, uh, snowball life timer one. So it, on the super fast clock, so this is a full clock, um, so up here I'm just setting a redstone block from here right to the other end and the bottom over here I'm just setting it to stone. So it just ticks over at about 20 hertz a second or 20 hertz, ticks over 20 hertz. Okay, it's very, very, very fast lock. Um, so it sets the snowball dimer to one every tick. Right, now the reason I'm doing that is because when it comes to actually making the snowball d deadly, I need that four ticks for the snowball to get away from me. So you'll see when it starts trailing this fiery um, tra tail, that's when it starts getting deadly. Because if I started it straight away, it will actually kill me. Well, in um, my Quakecraft game, it doesn't do that, but I, it's a much, much more complicated command, which I'm not going to show you guys right now. Okay, so first off, when a snowball leaves, we give it a score. Then what we do is I have a player score. So if I scoreboard objective set display... Um, sidebar player. So I've got a player s score. So I'm player one. Uh, if a new player joins, there'll be player two, player three, player four, player five. So each and every single player will have their unique player number. Okay. Um, so what I then do is uh, when a I'm going to do an execute command at any player who has a throw snowball. Now throw snowball. So there's three. So this is the third. A scoreboard objective you're going to need now throw snowball objective is stat dot use item minecraft snowball so when I use an, uh, a snowball so if I just quickly um, let me just quickly oh there's the enderman where have you got so if I do this if I throw it you'll see very very quickly on the right hand side I'll have my score will flash okay um, so this is when I use it it will actually activate so every single time I throw a snowball, so I have a throw, a, a throw snowball score of one, and I am player one, so which is uh, player minimum one, player equals one. Um, I am then going to set any entity that is within a two block radius of me that is a snowball, I'm going to set them to an owner objective of one. So this is our fourth scoreboard objective. Now what that means is that that snowball now belongs to me. Okay, so that's not, come on, get away, get away, get away. Gotcha. 
So that snowball now belongs to me. So if player two throws a snowball, they'll have a, that snowball will have an owner score of two. So when I'm hit by the snowball, we will know that owner that I didn't throw it, but somebody else threw it. Okay, right. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to make it deadly. So what we're doing is when we when we're going to execute at any entity that is a lifetime score of minimum four, that has a score owner of one. And has a score, yeah, which is a score owner of one. We are going to add a um, instant damage effect for uh, of, of of level hundred. So this will straight out immediately kill them. Okay, um, I added these owners here because I and dash uh, in um, Quakecraft I'm actually doing something slightly different. Okay, so this then makes the snowball de deadly. Now you'll see I didn't actually s specify whether this is a snowball because up here. Uh, I'm only using lifetime to add it to a snowball, so it won't actually kill anything else, or you know, it, it's it's specific enough enough. Right now that the snowball actually has a score, we can do a lot with the snowball. The first thing we are going to do is we're going to say who we killed. So when we we kill them, then we say who killed them. Okay, um, so this all happens in one tick. Okay, and on one tick so we are going to execute at that particular snowball so I'm once again at the snowball who has a lifetime of minimum four that has a score owner of one so this is snowball oh, belongs to me I'm going to execute um, so this is a nest that executes so the snowball is executing an execute command at any entity that's within a two block radius of that snowball is going to cause that particular entity to do a say command and what that they're going to say is say at e type not equal snowball radius one so when that snowball flies into something it is going to then cause that something to say its name which is this at e type not snowball r1 was killed by and then it's going to say by player one Okay, and that is why I'm getting this uh, Enderman was killed by Enderman. Because you'll see it's actually the Enderman that says that. So if we go up and we... Oh, uh, there's a lot of crap here. So if we go uh, go up, if you would have seen it said, um, Cow, Cow, Cow was killed by Dragnos. Um, creeper, Creeper was killed by Dragnos. Okay, so that's the say command. Then the cool, cool, cool thing is we're going to do exactly the same as the say command, except this time we are going to give me a score. So we're going to say scoreboard, lifetime, and minimum four, score owner one. Um, we are going to do a nested execute at um, any entity that's not a snowball within a two block radius of that thrown snowball. It's going to set my scoreboard objective for uh, kills to one. It's going to add one to my kill objective. Okay, so if I just go scoreboard, throw player, uh, add kills on the side, sidebar kills. Um, all right, and that is why it adds the kills to my score. Okay, so where is where is where is where is it? Right. Um, so I've run through all of this, and then last but not least, I then actually just remove the throw snowball. So this is why, when I do the throw snowball, um, why it disappears so quickly because I actually remove it. Okay, so. Uh, I use it for to detect when, when I'm throwing snowball and then remove it at the end. And that's really all there is to it. Now, just so that you <clears throat> know how a egg works, because you can do the same with an egg, except it's not going to give me a score because I didn't actually um, I didn't actually set it up for to use an egg. But if we, for example, use just another creep up here. Okay, so if I use an egg, I can do exactly the same. I can kill I can kill this creeper with an egg. Okay, I can kill a cow with an egg, and I can kill that creeper with an egg. Now you see something cool happened there. When you hit, throw an egg, you have a small chance of actually sp uh, spawning a chicken. So what I've done is I've actually set it up so that when a chicken is detected in this world, because this is obviously a minigame world, um, it will summon an invisible creeper that will with a fuse of zero. So the moment it spawns something, it will blow up, which is very cool. <laughs> it is very, very, very cool. Uh, and another thing that is very cool, you can also do this with a fishing rod. Okay. Oh. Come on. Uh, there we go, with a fishing rod. So where is this Enderman? Come on, Enderman. Let's let's play. Ah, 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 ah. Let's play. Let's play. Ah, don't. Where have we gone? 
I'll get you. Oh, where have you gone? Where have you gone? Where have you gone? Are you inside? No, you're not inside. Okay. Anyway, never mind. Now, um, when you are dealing with eggs and fishing rods, um, what? So the fishing rod, it is that. See this little, this little bobber over here. That thing there is an entity, and that is actually ha it has a name, and the name is uh, unknown. Okay, <laughs> that sounds weird, but that's the name. So um, you'll see your scoreboard players add at entity name equals unknown lifetime of one. Right, so um, over here when I make a de I can make a deadly that kills anything with a lifetime of four. Oh, sorry, execute at any entity with a lifetime of lifetimer of minimum four kill. Okay, that's why this kills. Um, and why that kills. Okay. Cool, guys. This is really it. Okay, yes, I promised to show you uh, option. I promised to show you um, what it looks like on a eight-player environment. So this is my little map I'm working on at the moment called Vanilla Quake Craft, and it's pretty much almost ready. So um, first of all, over here, where do I set the players? No, that's the spread players. I set the players somewhere. Fireworks on death, it's on the side, I think. Where did I write? Yes, here's the snowball owner. So over here, I start with snow, um, snowball owner one. So when a, th a snowball is thrown, it gives the own, uh, it sets it as owner one, owner two, owner three, owner four, owner five, owner six. So it goes up to, uh, to eight. I'm actually going to be pushing this up to ten. Um, it then does the, the death over here. Same thing. Um, when it's executes owner one, it, owner 2, owner 3, owner 4, owner 5, owner 6, etc. Um, then over here it's the scores, exactly the same, owner 1, owner 2, owner 3. So you need this whole comp thing for every single um, one for every single player that you'll be using. Okay, guys, yes, this is really, that's it. Thank you very, very much for watching, and as always, I will check you all later.